Hi everyone, our video blog this week, we're here at the busiest or one of the busiest intersections in our city, Nicholas and Laurier. Construction is starting to rebuild this intersection as a complete intersection this fall. My goal is to make sure it stays safe throughout the work. Okay, good morning. My name is Kyle Delaney. I'm a project manager for the City of Ottawa and I'm responsible for the delivery and ultimate completion of this construction project here that we're going to be starting this fall at Nicholas and Laurier. Cal, here we are. I know you've been working on this project for a number of years. We've got the approvals from the city, got the approvals through the University of Ottawa. Here we are starting the construction. Maybe the residents don't even know that there's construction happening at both of these intersections, at the former transit way at Laurier and at the former, uh, or at Nicholas and Laurier. Share with us the scope of, of this pretty significant project. Okay, no problem. So the scope is quite intensive. As you noted, there is a two big reconstruction projects that we'll be focusing on our two intersections here. So we'll be building a protected intersection at Nicholas and Laurier over here, and another protected intersection at Laurier and Waller over here. What we'll be doing in between those two intersections is providing new cycle tracks for cyclists, new pedestrian facilities. We'll also be resurfacing the road to upgrade the city's asphalt. On top of the protected intersections we work on Laurier, we'll be doing a resurfacing on Nicholas itself in the northbound lanes, starting here at Laurier and going all the way to Bezerra. That'll include a little bit of sidewalk improvements of any cracked panels and things like that. And at the end of the project, what we'll be doing is a, an improvement on the transit facility here on Waller right now between Laurier and Mackenzie King Bridge intersection, where we'll be providing a bi-directional cycling facility so cyclists have a connection to work their way up to Mackenzie King Bridge, as well as a connection onto Stewart. People will say, we're in the fall, winter's coming. Um, there's a lot of, there's still a lot of weeks left uh, to do great work in our city. We have a, a good fall a period. Share with us uh, what we can expect for the, from the contractor in terms of mobilization and work that can be completed in 2021. Okay, so no problem. So yeah, like you noted, we are in the fall. We hope it stays the fall and it doesn't turn into the winter sooner than later, but sometimes that does change in Ottawa. So right now we're working with our contractor on a schedule. We'll probably be looking to work our way out onto the site closer to the end of September to sort of start scoping things out and getting things ready. We'll likely be aiming to start our construction over at Laurier and Nicholas around the middle of October. We'll continue that as long as we can into the fall until the weather does get too cold. And what we'll do then at that point is we'll be shutting down our site for the winter. We'll be putting up temporary uh, asphalt, making sure everything's safe and reinstated for everybody over the winter, for the cars and cyclists and pedestrians. We'll leave that the way it is over the winter time. And in the spring next year, we'll come back to restart our work at the intersection, as well as through the rest of the project scope that I previously told you. What's the best way to, uh, to be informed on, on the scope of the project and, and to connect with you? So the best way to follow sort of any impacts and any updates around is auto is always to keep an eye on the city of Ottawa's social media. Uh, we'll also be having a project website that any residents can get in touch with us if they'd like. And that's going to be at ottawa.ca backslash Laurier East West Bikeway. All in one word. They'll have information on there on how to get in touch with myself and any questions the residents might have we can get back to them.